Hi and welcome to another CC tutorial. This tutorial is about adding slots to objects. Now slots are little places on your object such as shelves, desks, tables, um, where you can place another um, smaller object. Right, so the goal of this tutorial is to show you how to add slots onto your new mesh that you've made or onto an existing mesh. Before we get into all of that, real quick, I have something to share with you guys that you might like. This is a creation made by another simmer and their name is Monique31Gamer. But what happened is that she watched my tutorials and we've actually been chatting in DMs. If you guys want your creations to be featured in my videos, I would gladly do that as well. You can contact me on any of my social media, but I would much rather prefer if you just email me, just because I tend to be very late with my responses on social media. I mean, I will respond to you, it's just that it might take a while. If you want a quicker response from me, just email me. Also, Monique, don't forget to check her socials out. Let's move on to the tutorial. Right, so, slots. In order to add slots onto your object, you're going to need only one thing, and this is Sims 4 Studio. Blender can also be very helpful in this tutorial, but it's like optional, so it's not necessary for adding slots. I'll provide download links in the description below. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be using this shelf. If you watched my previous videos, you would know that we made that shelf ourselves in my previous tutorials. However, you can choose any shelf you want, of course. Open your object in the Sims 4 Studio and then right here choose Rig slash Slots tab. Now, to add a new slot, you simply click the button that says Add. As you can see, this new line shows up. Once you click on it, you've got several empty bars show up, like name, parent, X, Y, and Z. First, name. Now, this isn't just a regular name, so don't name it like Jennifer or something. Um, you can actually name it only three different things for this tutorial. And these names will be based on the size of the slot. First name is Deco SML1. And you're going to use that name if you want to create a slot space for a small object. Second name that you can use is Deco MED1. You will use that name if you want to create a slot for a medium sized object. And last but not least is Deco LRG1. You will use that name if you want to add a slot space for a large object. I'm going to put these names in the description below so that you don't have to type it in constantly, but you can just copy and paste it from um, this video description box. All right, so let's place the first slot down. First, I pasted a name for the small object in the name line. Now this is where my slots place is. You see this little purple thingy? This is the default position where it automatically places it. The position is defined by X, Y, and Z. So if everything is zero, it's just going to be at zero point, which is here in the middle. Now the position that I want to be super accurate is Z position because Z position represents going up and down. And if, for example, I push it too far up, it might float on the shelf, right? So what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to use Blender to help me out to find the exact Z 
number. Alternatively, if you don't have Blender or you don't want to get Blender or you just don't want to work in Blender, um, you can just swing it with the numbers really until you get the exact position you want. What I'm going to do though is that I'm going to open my mesh in Blender and now I'm going to look for the exact Z position. The way that I'm going to do that is that I'm going to select part of the shelf where I want my slot space to be. Right, so on this shelf, the slot space is going to be on this right here, this glass part. So select that part of the mesh by going into edit mode. Right, so while in edit mode, hover over the part you want selected and then press L on your keyboard. Right, so I have it selected now. And to get the exact number, I'm gonna go right here to the top and click plus. Then right here under transform, you're going to have the exact position of the selected part of the mesh for all three, so uh, X, Y, and Z. Well, like I said, I just really need Z. So I'm going to copy that number. Then I'm going to go back to the Sims 4 Studio and paste it to the blank space next to the Z part. And there you have it. Our small slot space is done. Now I want to get um, a couple of other slot spaces on this shelf, but I really don't want to constantly click add and then pasting the Z number. So the easiest way to do it is to simply copy the slot that we just made. Right, so I click copy while I have our slot selected. And as you can see here, Sims 4 Studio automatically adds a new number. So that's super helpful. My slot is right here because our positions, um, they're exactly the same since we copied it. I'm very happy with my Z position, but what I do want to change is the X number. X number moves our slot um, left or right. So now I'm going to actually wing this one. So I'm just going to type in number one um, in the empty space next to the X. As you can see, even number one was kind of too high of a number for this shelf. So I'm going to need to put in a smaller number. I went with 0 0.5 and there it is. I want more slots for small objects on this um, top shelf. So I'm just going to copy my previous slot and change the number next to the X so that the objects will be stacked one next to another. And I'm just going to repeat that until I am happy with it. Okay, so what I want right now is that I want all slots that I just made on the top shelf to be exactly the same, but on the shelf underneath it. So I'm going to select all of them by holding shift while selecting them. And then I'm going to copy them. After that, I'm going to need the exact Z position for my second shelf. So I'm going back to Blender I'm selecting the second shelf and I'm copying the number. Go back to the Sims 4 Studio. Make sure all slots you just pasted are selected. Then I'm going to click transform and paste the number from Blender next to the Z. What you're doing right now is that you are changing the Z position for all selected slots. Also make sure that move is ticked. Once you have your number next to the Z and once you ticked move, feel free to click OK. As you can see, all slots moved down. Now, um, this is pretty much the gist of it. 
The only thing that I'd still like to show you are medium and large slots. Um, everything is exactly the same except for the name. Once again, these are the names. They're also in the description below. Medium slot first. Again, click add, paste the name for the medium slot and do everything else the way we did it for the small slot. Define the Z number. As before, I'm getting mine from Blender. And then I'm changing the numbers for the X position. X position? X position? Wow. Anyways, um, once I'm done with my medium slot, I'm going to do the exact same thing with the large slots. So again, the only thing that's different is the name. So define the Z numbers first. After that, I'm just changing the number next to the X. And you can define your slots position through Blender if you want to be very accurate or you can simply wing it. Right now, I'm just finishing up. Once done, don't forget to hit save. And side note, your CC should always be saved to your mods folder. Anyways, I hope you guys find these tutorials helpful. Um, I must say I've gotten a, a very positive response from the Sims community about my CC tutorials. Now for my next video, I'm ditching the shelf and I'm moving on to the next thing. So what I was thinking is that we can make the object from scratch like our own object. This is probably my most requested CC tutorial, like how to make your own object from scratch. And I have this idea for super basic um, furniture that's not at all hard to make, but it would be super great for a tutorial. Any questions, requests, anything really is always welcomed in the comments below. I actually read my comments and I try to make videos based on what people ask for the most. Um, you can always support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Doesn't cost you anything and to me it really means a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.